That's why I go Liz, by. She does that. Turn around and look. Okay. Uh, viewing yeah. for James Dale's presentation. Exciting new find: Saint Peter's bones. Blessed art thou, Simon Bar Jonas, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. When Jesus Christ spake these words unto Simon Peter, he declared Simon Peter to be the first pope, or bishop of Rome, of the Catholic Church. Recently, a few months ago, in November 2013, the 112th Pope, or the current Pope, Pope Francis, displayed the bones of St. Peter, or the relics, in public for the very first time. A picture which the Huffington Post showed of the event showed the reliquary, or box of bones, as a black treasure chest-shaped structure made of marble, having on it a picture of Christ and the Twelve Disciples. In it, on it was an inscription in Latin, which said, Peter is in the church in heaven. The Catholic Church on earth normally keeps these blessed bones at St. Peter's Basilica, the largest church on the earth, also in Rome. The tomb of St. Peter where the bones are kept is beneath the altar at the church, the table where Christ's flesh and blood are sanctified by the priest. The situation of the bones beneath the altar reminds us of the scripture echoed in several books, including in Ezekiel and in Revelation, where the rivers of the water of life are described as flowing out from the altar in God's third and heavenly temple when Jesus returns to perfect the world. The scripture from the book of Revelation reads, And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the throne, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life. French artist Gustave Doré made two depictions of St. Peter's greatest miracles. He was perhaps the strongest of disciples. These are recorded in the book of Acts. The healing of a paralyzed man, and the cursing of a man which lied to him, which resulted in the man's death. 